Zevi, can Judd Parker save the world from terrorists by staying up for three days and torturing every person of color he can find? I hope so. The cliffhanger begins soon, only on Weasel. And now, we're back in the place where your mom's phone number is scrawled in the stall. The you. <laughs> the ringtones. Making him mega ultra. To Badios Air. Losing. Wilding the shit out of him. It's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. <laughs> Yeah. And he's flailing, he's just missing, and you're just steady kicking the bollocks. Ow! Smack! Ow! Smack! People go, oh, you must never go at midgets. Why not? What are they going to do? <laughs> you must never go at fundamentalist terrorists. They're the scary ones. Midgets, do what you want. <laughs> Thanks very much. Good night. Mr. Ricky Gervais! Critics are raving about how the West was won on Weasel. Running horses, justified genocide, big bosoms, and chip face shootouts are coming to Tuesdays on the next season of Spittoon. Don't miss it. Honey! What are you doing sitting in your car in the driveway staring at your phone? Are your pants off, Bucko? It's the Wiz Wireless Video Package. Watch all your favorite movies on your phone, on demand, at home, at work, while stuck in traffic. Adult titles, too. You won't want to get out of your car. Honey, the neighbors are calling the police. Wiz Wireless. Do the social vibe. Technology. It's what a man needs. Nine. The Excelsior Extreme 9. Nine blades of glory. Facial hair makes you look like a pervert or a hobo, or someone covering a scar he got tossing salad in the joint. Now take your shaving to the extreme. Get closer. It's a sports car, power lift, expensive watch on a Mediterranean beach of a shave at turbo quality levels. Technology has arrived at the razor's edge. Excelsior Extreme 9. The show that may save your life. How to survive when there's a suitcase nuke on your train. Can you and your family afford to miss it? Republican Space Rangers! Interconnect! Liberty Bottom, stay there. Waning with the Stars, a new season coming soon on Weasel. The show for... Mumbo Jet Garage. First, she could walk again. Send her to 15 of the most exclusive boarding schools all at the same time. And got her a treehouse with servants. Plus, she's got a flying rabbit. Money. Omnipotence. When you're this amazing, the laws of nature just don't apply. Your life is like a company employed and sacking them. And new season of Ether. Your ringtone defines who you are and how much money you have. So take bling to the next level with Audio Bling. It's VIP luxury ringtones. Oh, they've got that dragon brain ringtone. I've got the science of crime ringtone. Now everyone knows I'm as boring as a show. VIP luxury ringtones, including extreme tones like a person being beheaded or diamonds. A old bitch falling and breaking her hip. <gasps> wow, that's dope. VIP luxury ringtones, only 100 bucks. Be an individual. Get a VIP luxury ringtone today. Visit VIPLuxuryRingtones.com. Recorded live from Liberty City at the home of the Six Drink Minimum, the famous Split Sides Comedy Club presents all the way from London, Europe, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. I've been thinking a lot about war recently. A lot of it about. A lot of bad stuff in the world. 
Someone's always at war. And I was thinking, what's my favourite war? Vietnam, best soundtrack, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Second World War, best ending. <sighs> what a finale. <laughs> you know it's over when <sighs> you can't follow that, that's the end. <laughs> People are worried about that though because the atomic bomb, oh. It ended a war, which is good, but the effects are still being felt, which is bad. And it was invented by Einstein, and he's a genius. In his uh, 1907 paper, Einstein said that light could be described as discrete bundles of energies, that when irradiated, I'd, what sort of cunt thinks like that, really? <laughs> I mean, that's what turns Stephen Hawking's mental, too much thinking. I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure. The universe is expanding. Yeah, of course it is, Stephen. <laughs> Take a day off. Go for a walk. Or, not a walk, but open a window. Watch a bit of TV. Robot Wars is on. You like that, don't you? You go, oh, you can't ever go at Stephen Hawking. He's a genius. He's not a genius. He's pretentious. Born in England and talks with an American accent. <laughs> Cambodia. That was a good one. Pol Pot. He killed 100,000 people. He rounded up a hundred thousand people and he killed them because they were what he called intellectuals and that was his threat. And do you know how he told whether they were intellectual or not? Was whether they wore glasses. If they're that clever, take them off when they see him coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah, well Kierkegaard, here comes Pol Pot. Alright? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. Yeah, good, yeah. Oh, thank you, Mr. Pot. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm thick, as you can see. I'm th him over there, look. Oh, oh, don't kill him. Falklands War. That's probably my favourite. People say it was a conflict. It was a war. And it's my favourite because it was a range war. And what that means is that the Argentinian guns could fire nine kilometres, whereas the British guns could fire 17 kilometres. So we just parked our boats about 10 kilometres away. And theirs were falling into the water, while we were shelling the shit out of them. It's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. <laughs> yeah. And he's flailing, and just missing, and you're just steady kicking in the bollocks. Ow! Smack. Ow! Smack. People go, oh, you mustn't have a go at midgets. Why not? <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> you mustn't have a go at fundamentalist terrorists. They're the scary ones. Midgets, do what you want. <laughs> Thanks very much. Good night. Mr. Ricky Gervais! Critics are raving about how the West was won on Weasel. Running horses, justified genocide, big bosoms, and chip face shootouts are coming to Tuesdays on the next season of Spittoon. Don't miss it. What are you doing sitting in your car in the driveway staring at your phone?